Hey everybody, this is Brian, and welcome to the 35th LAMP tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing the const statement and the scope resolution operator. So let's just make a class called my class. And we're going to add a function in here called test. Alright, now we've seen this a hundred times before. Now we're going to make an actual constant. And we're going to say this is um, we'll say max users just a generic example we're saying max users equal 100 so the maximum number of users in any given thing is going to be 100 notice how I did not use a dollar sign I think PHP is the only programming language that actually uses a dollar sign but when you create a constant value much like my cat's constant meowing I don't know if you can hear her begging for my attention um, Cat, you totally just ruined my train of thought here. Anyways, um, constant value doesn't use a dollar sign. Constant values can never be changed. So if we go to say max users equal 200, notice how e syntax error, unexpected equal sign. Why? Because we've already declared the value. This is different than a variable. A variable has the dollar sign in front of it and it can change. A constant can never change. Now let's see how we can access it from within our class. How would you access this? Like if we just wanted to echo it back out. Let's see here. Let's try a few things and see if they work. Do you think that you would use the this? Well then you would be wrong. It's actually called self. Now suddenly you can access max users. Notice how you have the word self with double clones double colons. That's called a scope resolution operator. Mm -hmm. yep, see, scope resolution operator. You can find this out on the PHP tutorials. And really what it does, without getting into a very big, long, lengthy discussion on um, memory and how things are stored. I mean, if you've taken any of my C++ classes, especially the Qt classes, I've probably beat the scope resolution op operator to death. But really what it does is it allows you to get things that are defined on the global space for that class. Now what do I mean by global space? Um, basically anything that is defined that exists for all the classes not just the current instance. And what do I mean by that? Well basically when you create a constant value it exists for all instances of that class not one value per class. Same thing with a static value. Now, what is a static value? Well, like a constant, it exists in all instances of the class, meaning it exists before the class is even created. What we normally do is we will say, uh, let's see here, my, we'll just call it my c equal new, my class, and then we'll say my c point to test. Now notice how we can access our constant. We can also access our static. But there's something special about this. Let me show you something here. Let's comment these out. See, what we're doing is we've created an instance of that class. But what if we don't even have an instance of the class? Notice how we can still access those things. Ta-da! So we haven't even created an instance of this class, yet it, it exists. Now what if we did something like this, public, uh, we'll just call this val equal 12. Let's see if we have the same results here, echo, my class, 
Notice how we cannot access the val variable, V-A-L, because we need an instance of that class. And that's what I'm trying to really drive home here, is that constant and static live for the class, meaning they exist before the class is even created. There's only one of them that exists in memory. Whereas variables, for instance, for example, this instance right here of val, one of these will be created per class. So if you have 100 my classes, you'll have 100 vals, but you only have one max user and one name. Note the difference between const and static. Const, you do not use a dollar sign, the value can never change. Static, you do use a dollar sign, the value can change. So that's really all for this tutorial. Um, I hope you found this educational and entertaining. I know this can be a bit of a confusing one, so I kind of recommend you watch it over again if you really didn't grasp that concept. But all you really need to know is that constant static live outside of the class. Not really true, but think of it that way. They can exist without an instance of the class actually existing yet. That's it.